This is the most influential piece of art in the last two decades. So today, we're going to be showing you a selection of videos, and all of these videos went viral before YouTube even existed. What? So there was viral videos before YouTube. That's news to me. Where would you even see a viral video? Yeah, where were viral videos? There was no iPhones, you're not sharing anything. This is exciting, actually. Uh, this is very exciting. Like Break.com or like E-Bombs yeah. World. <laughs> we're doing some, like, archaeology now. That is exciting. What horrors are we about to uncover? I'm gonna crush this one. <laughs> I'm the oldest person, not just in this room, but it, at VidCon. <laughs> ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, I do not ooga, remember chaka, this. Ooga, what is going on? Ooga, ooga, Why did this go viral? Ooga, ooga, oh yeah. Ooga, chaka, ooga, 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 chaka, this was me. Ooga, 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 chaka, ooga, ooga, <laughs> not this cursed image. That was it? Oh my god. <laughs> the Dancing Baby from Ally McBeal, which was a show I watched as it premiered. I love The Dancing Baby still to this day, but here's what I will say. I don't remember it being that low res. I very well remember The Dancing Baby. Yeah. I, I don't remember it being that low res. Right, yeah. In my mind, they filled in all the pixels. So that's 1996's Dancing Baby or Baby Cha Cha. And this video went crazy viral and proceeded to show up in mainstream media, most notably on Fox's Ally McBeal. Okay. I don't think that baby would hold up in today's viral thing. Thing nope. in today's client, social media But there climate. was nothing, so I... Yeah, so that so that was like cool. the first thing ever. Memes haven't changed, and meme humor hasn't changed since 1996. Oh! Yes! Yes! Okay. I remember downloading this on Kazaa. Sure, oh, Star of Wars course. Kid. Star Wars, dude. Yep. Yeah. A classic. Yeah. <laughs> I did that because I liked it so much. He's got moves, man. Who hasn't picked up a stick or a cane and pretended that there were Darth Vader? Everyone has. <laughs> oh, what an icon. I definitely can see why that went viral. I feel like that was just a Vine or TikTok. I remember watching that and laughing at it and then feeling bad years later when the guy who was in it said that it was like the worst thing that ever happened to him. The kid really probably had a really hard time as a result of that video, but I've always thought he was awesome. So this is Star Wars Kid, and according to reports, the teen left the recorded tape at school, and the footage was then discovered by classmates <laughs> who posted it onto Kazaa, which was a popular peer-to-peer oh. -peer file sharing site. And there are estimates that the video has been viewed at least a billion times, but there's no way to accurately track its view count. Oh wow, a billion views. Everyone's kind of making fun of this guy, and I'm like, he's having fun, man. He turns on that camera, he's living his truth. In the spring of 1999, the Family Learning Channel commissioned animator Don Hertzfeldt to produce promotional segments for their network. The cartoons were completed in five weeks. The Family Learning Channel rejected all of them upon review, and they were never aired. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. I've seen this before. This I still watch about once a year. My spoon is too big. Yes, I know this one. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Do you know this? Uh-huh. What is this? This must be some experimental film. I am a banana. I think I have like a deep-rooted thing in my head, and that's why I'm doing animation now from this video. Yes, it's my favorite part coming up. Everybody dance! These are cute. Oh yeah, this one used to make me laugh so hard. Oh God. My anus is bleeding. Wait, what the hell? That really freaked me out when I was little. I was worried about bleeding anuses way too prematurely. My anus is bleeding. When I was 10, I was like, this is the funniest thing that's ever been created. I know what that's like, buddy. It's no fun. <laughs> I wonder what this artist went on to do, because this was so good. For the love oh, no. <laughs> that is yeah, I can see why they rejected these. <laughs> How does he have so much blood inside of his little cloud body? I think the point of this is there's no point. So that was an animated short titled Rejected, made in 1999. The short actually won 27 animation awards around the globe and was actually a 2001 Academy Award nominee. Wow, I'm so glad. I'm, I'm glad that that guy got his dues because it is still, to this day, one of my most favorite pieces. It's very good, yeah. but it, uh, it also speaks to the fact that there's animation that's on YouTube today that yeah. should be getting nominated for Academy Award 
in the short animation category. Absolutely. Yes. Numa Numa. There's Boogie. That's you know it's not actually Boogie, right? I, you know, before I met him, I thought for the longest time this actually was. I don't think I look anything like that kid, but everyone else does. Yeah, I've definitely seen this. <laughs> This is just TikTok. Yeah, I remember thinking this was the literal funniest thing in the entire world. I did the same stuff in my room. Yeah. Uh, so no one will admit it, but everyone does that. That is an all-time classic. In Europe, people like playing this on the radio, like, ah, oh, yes, our culture. Not to brag, but Hank is actually the leading translator of the Numa Numa song <laughs> into English, which is? Uh, there's a guy, he's, he's calling a girl on the phone and she's not interested. That video is known as Numa Numa and the creator Gary Brosman uploaded it to the website Newgrounds in 2004 and is one of the most viral videos of all time. I remember Newgrounds. Newgrounds was just the wild west of, uh, of content. There's some weird stuff on there, but that's cool that that was up there. Yeah. That was like the first type of community on a video website. Okay. So basically, I forgot about this France, one. India, oh Israel. God, I love this video I know, so much. Really I haven't good. seen this in like 20 years. We've got China, France, India, Israel, Pakistan, Russia, the UK. And this is another one I quoted all the time. We've got this video was so big else. in middle Kenny school. Went. One day we decided those Chinese sons of a bitches are going down. So we launched a new get China. While it's on its way, China's like, shit. What the f is shooting us? It oh, reminds me of a very base version of history of the world. Then France is like, guys, we got the missiles, they are coming, fire our sh But then let's tire. Let's tire, yeah, yeah, yeah. The missiles, they are coming, fire our sh But, but I am let tired. Well, have a Then fire the missile. Yeah, I remember. Wow. <laughs> so now we've got missiles flying everywhere. Is this is Pie. So now the U.S. is like, he sounds like Pie. Pie. Some huge media is like, well, f that. <laughs> So now we've got I like that we avoid everyone's dead the apocalypse because the meteor like, isn't interested in us. <laughs> Assuming we don't blow ourselves up, us Californians just have to worry about California breaking off from the United States to go hang with Hawaii. Alaska can come too. The end! I remember that one of the old albino black sheep new ground days. Oh, it's one of my favorites. That's some good lines in there. That might be one of the most quotable videos of all time. I remember that was like one of the first videos I like ever saw on the internet. That was called the End of the World Flash animated cartoon that was uploaded to Albino Black Sheep in 2003. And the narration on the cartoon created some iconic catchphrases that were often used back in the day on the internet, such as the, I am lit tired. Okay, so that's where that comes from. I used to say that because other people said it. I say that to my friends all the time. Just part of the culture now. This is the most influential piece of art in the last two decades. I am late tired. After, at the end of VidCon, everyone is late tired. Yes! Weeble! <laughs> Such chaotic neutral energy from Weeble. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, classic. So that's basically what goes on in my brain on a daily basis. Badger, 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 badger. Mushroom, mushroom. Weeble, underappreciated god of the internet. He still does stuff. Are you supporting him? You should be. That's like internet roots right there. That's history. That's gonna go in a textbook one day. The thing about that video is it gets so stuck in your head very quickly and it won't leave. That was created in 2003 by animator known as Weeble and he still makes animated content today on his YouTube channel known as Weeble Stuff. This was one of the first things that like in my life went viral because I was at school and everyone was like, have you heard of Badger Badger? It was like that baby shark moment where it's like it completely dominated the entire world. My big takeaway so far is we have come a long way with internet content. But I mean, I used to love this stuff too. It's sort of the, the more random, the better. There's another ending. <laughs> that was so restrictive. Oh, I've also covered this song. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like... <laughs> I've never seen this one. <laughs> I remember this. I was with such a house, I lived in a cave, but I never saw the way that I was sleeping. I know the whole word. I could keep going. It's really upsetting. It's such a simple video, and literally anybody could have edited that in Flash, but it's it's one of those songs that, again, just get into your head. Reports state the Llama song was uploaded first in 2004 to art site DeviantArt, where reportedly it rocked up over 50,000 views before spreading to Newgrounds and Albino Black Sheep. 50,000 views back in the day was like, you are the most famous person that's ever existed. It's crazy that that entertained people back in the day. Not much existed, so it was easy to go viral. I remember logging into Albino Black Sheep every day to find something like that when I found that. 
I thought I found treasure. Peanut butter jelly time. Oh, yes. I love this. This was everywhere. This you would use on AIM as like your away message. Still, uh, it's still special. It was a lot funnier when I was younger. I love this guy. I just don't get why it's a banana. It's a dancing banana. Don't have to ask questions. <laughs> that one's peanut butter jelly time, performed by the Buckwheat Boys. Performed by, okay. So this video has been remixed and re-uploaded so often, many think it came from YouTube, but it was first uploaded in early 2002, three years before YouTube. Yep, absolutely. That was everywhere. That, that, now talk about internet icon, that's an internet icon. It's still really popular. I feel like everyone, if they heard that, they would know, you know, they would sing along. We like you, Oh man, why do I know what this is? What is this? Quizno subs? <laughs> That's true. Ah, uh, it's the sound of my last brain cell dying. I never saw that before. Is that before or after the annoying orange? I need to wash my eyes or something. That was scary. Why are we still making content? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, we they, we're done. We did they, it. They All did. the best stuff has been made. <laughs> So that's We Like the Moon created by Joe Vetchel in 2003. We Like the Moon actually got picked up by Quiznos and became an inspiration for some of its advertisements that that's appeared right. on television. Their terrifying ad campaign. I do remember that though. Quiznos had some weird little creature things like that. What about that is makes you want to eat? I don't want to eat your food if I that's the face that's of it. That's the thing making it? Hell nah. I'm just <laughs> wild enough to do what God said. That's why. Results happen. He's like the farting that. preacher. That's why. So. Results happen. <laughs> I'm not talking about figuring it out with your brains. I'm talking. Oh gosh. I'm talking about. <laughs> oh boy. Hallelujah! The first thing that happens, that's it. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Call me right because now. it's just fart. Six two zero six two two. But I love a good fart. It's yeah. literally the oldest joke. The yeah, fart yeah, joke yeah. is the oldest joke in the world. It's in it's in Greek comedies from two thousand years ago, and it's still it's great. Still funny. I don't think I've ever seen that one. That's the only one on this list that I do not immediately recognize. But that's hilarious. So that was the farting preacher. Some reports call this the original viral video, with some reports stating that in 1985, two men began distributing VHS copies of The Farting Preacher, where it began to gain popularity across the country. Wow, a viral VHS. Well, what's funny is there wasn't really like sound effects. People didn't play around with mm -hmm. that. So to take something that serious and then do that, I think that's great. Can we do a fart? <laughs> Last time I saw this video was probably before the first VidCon. Um, I think uh, that was in a very weird but very pure stage of the internet where like people were just making stuff for the sake of like making weird stuff. Like there was no chance it was gonna go viral to them, but it did. Finally, we just talked about videos that went viral before YouTube, which is now arguably the most known way to go viral. Yeah. So do you think any of these videos, if they were released today, would have gone as viral? I don't think they would. There's so many videos on the internet now, it's so hard. Back in the day, there were so few on the internet that the quality threshold was so low. There's no one type of video that goes viral now, and I think that's why a lot of these videos wouldn't necessarily go viral, because they are of sort of one class, which is absurd humor. I think it depends the platform. And I think like the dancing baby, honestly, I would watch that right now. But. I don't think it makes sense for YouTube. We're so long format on YouTube. I think a lot mm -hmm. of this stuff you're right would work, maybe kind of like Vine format. Probably not. Probably it would just be in the wash of stuff. I don't think any of those would go viral, but it does still happen where surprisingly funny and weird content does go viral, mm -hmm. like Bill Wirtz's History of the World. So I have a lot of hope that versions of this, better, cooler, newer versions can yeah. still go viral. Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Be sure to subscribe to all the creators in this episode. The links are in the description. Goodbye, be safe. Hey guys, Ritu here from FBE. A huge thank you to all the YouTubers that came out to shoot with us. Make sure to support them by checking out their channels and subscribing. Links in the description below. Bye guys. <laughs>